Welcome in everybody to Dose of Dion 2.0 and we are going to be doing a preview for the Detroit Lions and the New England Patriots which is set to kick off around 7.30 tonight in Detroit. Very excited for this game. This starts off the preseason for the Detroit Lions. Preseason technically already started uh, with the Hall of Fame game, but really, no, this is when it starts. This is when everybody starts to play tonight. This is when it gets going. The Detroit Lions are on, so that's when really the real season starts. But I'm super excited to get this thing going. And right now, we don't have tons of news on who's out, and I can't wait until the exact second to figure that out. So basically, we're going to try to make some projections on that. We're going to take an overview of both of these teams, make our prediction, and I'm going to talk about some other games that are going on as well tonight before we kick off. Off the New England Patriots against the Detroit Lions. Again, I'm super excited to bring this one to you guys. I'm glad you guys are all here and let's get right into the video. All right, so let's start off with a little overview of the New England Patriots coming in here to Detroit to face the Detroit Lions. This is the 10th matchup between the Detroit Lions and the New England Patriots in the preseason. The Detroit Lions actually lead this series 6-3 at this time. They're going to try to make it 7-3 tonight after a win. The last time these two teams matched up in the preseason was back in 2017 when the Detroit Lions fell to the New England Patriots 30-28 in a close loss. But as we know, these games mean absolutely nothing. So it's really about seeing some of the young guys, learning who's going to win some position battles. And overall, the number one goal between every single team in the preseason is to stay healthy and hopefully for both teams, they can stay healthy throughout this game. Now, looking at 2018 for the Patriots and your Detroit Lions, the Patriots last season finished 11 and five compared to the Lions six and 10 rough finish. They finished last in the division. The Patriots were the first in their division. The Patriots averaged 27.3 points per game last season compared to the Lions 20.3 points per game last season. A one touchdown difference. That's a very, very big difference in football. Now the Detroit Lions actually had a better total defense than your New England Patriots with a 10th overall defense in the league compared to the Patriots who are 21st in the league. So the Detroit Lions got something on there, but as we know, that means nothing now heading into the season because the Detroit Lions had that huge off season, bringing in multiple pieces who we're not gonna see a lot of today. We're gonna see a lot of the young guys instead, but again, this is a showcase really for the rookies, especially week one of the preseason. Week three of the preseason, you can expect to see a little bit of the starters. But in week one for the Lions, knowing Matthew Stafford is a veteran type of quarterback, there's a good chance we won't see a lot of guys here today, especially anybody that has had to deal with injuries. Now, looking at these two teams, they are very, very, very familiar with each other. Not only do they have coaches on each side of the team, but they also have a lot of players that have recently switched teams, really from the Patriots to the Lions or from the Lions to the Patriots. Kyle Van Noy is a great example. Looking at the Lions defensive line, they have four players that were at one time on the Patriots, now on the Detroit Lions. That's crazy to think about. John Atkins, Trey Flowers, Eric Lee, and Darius Kilgo were all at one point on the New England Patriots. So four Detroit Lions defensive linemen were once on that New England Patriots defensive line. Now, what should we watch for today? That's the biggest question, right? Because it's preseason. It doesn't matter if you win. None of that matters. So what should we watch for? The first thing that everybody should be watching for, whether you're a Lions fan or you're any kind of fan in the NFL, if you're watching this game, watch for the rookies because the rookies for every game across the league is the most important thing, really for preseason and for the Lions they have a lot of a lot of exciting rookies that we are very eager to see starting off with TJ Hawkinson the first round pick followed up by Jelani Tavai from Hawaii some great great talent with guys that could potentially be starting in those guys but you also have some sleepers like Isaac Nauta, Amani Oruwarie you also have guys like PJ Johnson out of the seventh round who could potentially still make the squad so for the Lions they have talent across the board at that rookie class and really for the Patriots they have a lot of talent as well they went on got Nikhil Harry with their first round pick, which is actually the final pick of the draft in the first round. But he has deal dealt with some injuries. We're not sure if he'll play today. If I had to guess, I would say he won't play. He'll stay on the safe side. And like I said, we're going to see a lot of veterans out. So again, look for rookies. Another guy to watch for your Detroit Lions is Tease Tabor. This guy specifically is going to be very important to see for the Detroit Lions. Will this guy be potentially that number two cornerback for the Lions 2019? It all starts today where he can make a name for himself by coming up with some big plays in the opening preseason game at home. Also, take a look at a guy named Ryan Santoso, one of our kickers not Matt Prater Ryan Santoso the guy that kicks with him Ryan Santoso has been proving he's a really really good kicker in this league he's moved around a little bit but he has made some big field goals we've seen some nice ones throughout this entire offseason and like some people would say in the comments below he could be potential trade bait if he keeps playing very well so it's really nice to see that we have depth at that kicker position two really good kickers in Matt Prater and Ryan Santoso finally you have to look 
at the position battles as a whole. They are across the board at every position that you look at. Whether it's the guard position where Graham Glasgow has all of a sudden fell into a competition for that spot. Whether it's the cornerbacks where it's Tease Table or Amani or Awarie, Michael Ford all fighting for the same type of position. Whether it's the safeties where we have a deep class. Whether it's the defensive line where we're even deeper. The linebackers where we brought in Jelani Tafai. Whatever it may be, there's competitions going around everywhere. And that's something that you have to pay attention to. So again, now who's out? Who is out today for the Detroit Lions? And like I said, we don't have all the information on that, but if we had to make our best guess, every single veteran that most likely has been on the Lions or they're just proven in this league will not play today. Don't expect anybody that has had to deal with injuries throughout the offseason, unless they are a rookie, to play today. So that means Matthew Stafford will most likely be out today, but some people want to say that he could get one drive, and I could see that happening. I don't know about Carrion. I don't think he'll play either. Marvin Jones, Kenny Galladay may also be resting out. There's really no need to play these guys. Similar to what the Patriots are doing, are going to sit out Tom Brady, the 42-year-old 42, 42 amazing quarterback, will sit today, so we won't be able to see him. But I think the biggest question for me comes, will Matthew Stafford play at all or no? And I think that's a great debate you guys should be debating right now because it's the premiere you guys can be talking in the chat make sure you let me know what you guys think because i'm sure i will be in the chat with you guys with that being said i believe matthew stafford won't play today but i would love to hear your guys' thoughts so again this game kicks off at 7 30 so make sure you guys are ready to get this thing started roughly 7 30 now looking at some other games around the league we had the jets taking on the giants the colts taking on the bills jags taking on the Ravens. We have the Titans taking on the Eagles. We have the Falcons taking on the Dolphins. We have the Redskins taking on the Browns. We have the Texans taking on the Green Bay Packers. The Panthers taking on the Bears, the Broncos, Seahawks, and the Chargers versus the Cardinals. So that's really how the schedule looks for today if you guys are interested in any of the other games. With that being said, this is my preview for the Detroit Lions. We are ready to get this thing kicked off. I'm not sure how this is going to go during the game. Not sure what we're going to do. But make sure you guys stay tuned because there could be a halftime show. There's definitely going to be a post-game show. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm excited that you guys are here. Now let's get into the game that everybody wants to see. Thank you, Prof, for watching. And I'm out.